Hello there everyone, so welcome to another episode of this uh, Chaos Dwarves campaign here with Astrogoth. So a lot of decisions that I've been doing is be just because of trying to get my armies right, as I want them, uh, with Drazwath, with Fireborn for instance, and getting the upgrades that are needed. This is all because of that confederation. So once you confederate, it's kind of the only issue that I find with the Chaos Dwarf is uh, how much you have to upgrade units and stuff, but it's not like they need them. They have very good roster across the board like you can turn their tier two units into you know tier five if you want with just the upgrades no. so that's an alternative but i i prefer to to have more flashy units if i can lots of enemies uh, i don't think corn is going to survive very soon but at least well the, we're getting a, a sort of a, a a good tide going on and yep reichland also has a couple of enemies armies around here i'm just following them just to not uh, Provoke them into oh you're weak let's attack and in the meantime I'm going to take care of Kislev likely it's all going to be just out resolves I'm not even joking because he he's lacking any armies you know I'll have like three armies there so yep that's definitely I'm sending in some some of these good units such as the Kevro units I cannot remember the name now the centaurs there we go and overall just trying to get that going really. Um, overall, just recruiting some units here for the drag killer so that he's complete, so it doesn't have anything else. And I'm Define Hand is going to have a nice army there, that's cool. Thunderbaz only has one bull center that I wouldn't like, and he needs like an infantry unit, so he's kind of like complete. Uh, he's going to go for Valley of Horns and then stop there if I can. You are going to go over to the Great Hall of Greases, and that's, that's where I'm going to try to make like a defensive posture. So, on these two places, so that, you know, he wastes a couple of those stacks, and then I can in invade and conquer the rest. And with that, you know, if I go th through the, to the south, then I can decide to go to one side or the other, you know. Dresworth, uh, I was thinking of getting some Chosen, actually. And I think I will be able to in, yeah, in some turns, and then clean Rictus, maybe... Who knows, maybe I can get some of the units because I don't have the armaments for other stuff, you know? So, let me check the allies. Mm -hmm. Hold on, the treaties. Yeah, I have good treaties here. I have more al allies than wars, actually. And more, most of the wars are because of the uh, of the undead, actually, the, the end game. So, that's cool. I'm strength rank 1, so all is going well and dandy. Yeah, I think everything is going just fine. So in terms of developments, you know, I always have to skip a couple of turns, a couple of moments, just to see if everything is okay. And over here, Morkamo Zarbas is, is finding out a lot of enemies coming his way. So I'm going to have to ambush, I'm going to have to try to intercept their forces uh, and see how well I can defend this. But even with just the garrisons, I believe he can make a good work. I don't think I need an, another army, but I cannot push there, you know. I keep defeating some of his armies, of course, and he's likely, the, the Vampire Counts are likely going to invade me very soon, so I'll have to just prepare for that. Um, what else? Of course, I'm getting everything that I can here that gives me gold. I'm not going to spend any armaments overall for buildings if I can, because I really want the armaments to go for units at the forge. And these heroes, they're just here to... when I need them. These were acquired by the other stuff. Okay. I need the resources to change. Th these are really not interesting because I'm spending too many armaments, so I, I'm gonna withheld going with, with convoys anytime soon. I could have some deals here. Maybe the military alliances so that the outpost points are better. Yeah, let's go for that. And Clan Rictus as well. They're, they're val valuable ally here. So yeah. Yeah, that feels a good idea. Okay. And yeah, there's some more outpost possibilities. Let me check ally missions. Yeah, do I have any? Yeah, let's go for that. Anything, really. Let's uh, take over some Kislev units. Yeah, the same dude, so that I can get some more stuff. Uh, ally missions. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. No. Hmm. 
Let's see. I still have some outposts available. Diplomacy I've checked. I'm going to have weapons of war. Let me just double check in terms of movements. Do I have everything settled nice? Yeah, Tsarin is going to get destroyed here, likely with Prague involved by Astrogoth. And then Zayton the Black, I'm trying to get his uh, units in order so that he has a good army. Yep, I think that's time to spend some time. Let's go. And here we go into a battle. There's some vampire counts attacking me, but yeah, it already gives me an odd result of a close victory, but I'm gonna show you this one. It has some interesting units, and I have some artillery, I have a good army. I wanna see it in, uh, in battle. And a good terrain as well. Oh, these red quakes are gonna do a lot. The Death Shrieker are gonna focus down the flyers, maybe, or some of the cavalry, maybe some of the chariots if I need. Whatever large target I can find. So, yeah. Plenty of them. Let's fight it out. And here we are, developing on a very nice hill. This is great. It helps so much, especially with the artillery, but also the infantry units get the bonus when attacking. The missile units don't get hammered, so... Yeah, this, it has, this has uh, the best uh, map actually possible to face off so many enemies. So, let's go on. Yep, tons of units here to defend that hill, and the enemy is just overwhelming with honestly good units, I wouldn't say. You know, there's just some chariots, black knights, there's some grave guards here, the, f the flyers are the big problem. There's so many of them. Just alone with the flyers, I think I could do this. Timed well, you know, I think I could do this. Um, you know, to, to overtake my my um, my missile forces but yeah that's it, it's the ai let's see how well it does lots of blood knights and black knights and he's just readjusting everything lucky for him outside of my range the range of those dread quick motors but yeah here's a, a long line of whites wonderful tons of enemies to face off against more to kill so in terms of battle plan, as always, we have like a three lines idea with the artillery behind. Um, in this case, I'm going to try to defend on this flank. That's the problem because the the vampire counts typically like to to flank, but also their you know the, the front line won't hold so much. Uh, of a threat, you know, th there's no problems with that. I predict these are the two main lines where I'm gonna focus fire on infantry enemies, and then the flyers are the big problem. Let's focus them down. And here we go with so many Dreadquake mortars, they're starting to fire. So their main targets are gonna be masses of enemy units clumped up, but especially the the good ones. The Grave God, maybe some Crypt Ghouls, Maybe hitting some uh, cavalry units if they are uh, slowing, you know, if they're slow in movement, or if they are magical, for instance, because I do have magical at attacks. Sorry. Yeah, I hit that one. That's not exactly what I typically want. Oh, that was a nice shot. That was a nice shot. Look at that. Two, three units actually affected by one single shot. That's great. And in the meantime, we do use our summon. Especially because you have magical attacks, just make sure you take care of Cairn Wraiths or Hex Wraiths, for instance. In this case, there were two units of Cairn Wraiths here that I wanted to catch. And maybe force some other enemy units to go there. While the Dreadquakes just keep havocing everyone. Let's see if we can find the target. Oh, it's likely these guys. There we go. <laughs> Always nice to see. Okay, and the flyers have showed up. And basically, well, I'm just gonna slow them down. I'm gonna try to get them in range of my uh, blunderbusses and uh, glaives. And wait, this is just a deletion order to some of these units. As soon as they show up, 
if they are coming in in waves, then it's so much easier. I mean, look at these terror guys already halfway through. Now I think I can show you del me deleting one unit of flyers here. Let me let me see. I think it happens at one point. That terror guys is never going to hit me, so these two are going to go down very quickly, which is great. Oh yeah, that unit of our guys, you can see it. Poor one, he just <laughs> they just got with the blunderbusses, and it's a massive volley that they cannot survive. Just does so much damage to them. Same thing here, that terror guys is going to fall. And overall, this is great, because these terror guys are part of the key problem. And one of them is the Lord, so that's great, actually. And let's take a look at the uh, flank here, the right flank. I'm trying to delete those Blood Knights, as you can see there on the screen. And now, this is me whiffing, because I was looking at somewhere else. And, oh god, this is painful. It would have been so cool if I didn't miss. No, I was looking at another place. This this is why I'm using an ability now. And even this one, I think it's failing. So yeah, I was looking at the other flank when I was attacking here. And there it goes. It doesn't hit a lot, but it stops them on their tracks. Gives me time for my units to shoot or to hit them. So yeah, I'm using a lot of abilities here. And spells. Ugh. Yeah, no one would survive that. That's why they're already dead. They're getting in my back lines here, but already in a weakened state. Enough for me to handle. And on the other flank, this is where I was looking at. <laughs> the enemy lord has arrived there. I'm chasing it down, also covering these glaives from these whites. All that I need is just to confirm that my units have magical attacks and that's it. And he's trying to push through these units, but they won't move, they won't dodge. I, I don't need to do anything there, the, the cavalry won't go anywhere. Yeah, these guys, I'm just doing some damage, making sure that when they reach my enemy, my units, that they are in a weakened state, even if it's just leadership debuff because they have been hit by an ability, you know? That always helps. And right now the reinforcements are arriving, the ones that can arrive, but I'm already using my artillery to diminish their numbers and it's victory. And there was a nice heroic victory, actually. So I destroyed a lot of them. They get replenished because of the raised dead. But look at that. Almost all of them went down very quickly. They didn't do a lot of damage. That's why I'm referring. Of course, they go down after the, the they, they start crumbling. That's the issue with the vampires. But yeah, that was a nice victory. Oh, and the Kolik is attacking here. I'm going to decline so that he takes the most of that attack and he finished them off, which is... Perfect. Perfect. And we have yet another battle. In this case is Thorgrim attacking Murkamo Zarbaz. And I don't think this is going to be a difficult battle. Especially if the... You know, because most of the reinforcements have the artillery. So I can defeat the enemy army before the artillery arrives. They are tired. So yeah, I think this is going to be... a a good one. I'll rush in. I have an army to rush in. Yeah, let's fight it out. And here is my army deployed. And you may see that I'm deployed in a rather interesting way. It's because the reinforcements are coming in on a very narrow space. There's the enemy army from Thorgrim. And they are not going to arrive anytime soon to save their uh, friends. If they would attack me, I could just devote some of the units to defend against these guys while I'll take care of the other army, you know, divide them and conquer. But in this way it's much easier. They're deployed very far away and the enemy is arriving and it's gonna get melted down. So the plan while I'll have everything paused is to, well, kill everything with a beard in that 
this particular place. And I'll use my breath attacks, I'll use the infantry to pin them down, and missiles. It's just a kill area. <laughs> I won't have to do too much planning here, uh, because the enemy uh, is not advancing. And then I'll just regroup and go fight the other army. So I'm not expecting too many casualties. So here are the breath attacks coming in on anything, really. I'm just trying to fire whatever it will cause the most damage or maybe hit the artillery units as soon as they arrive. But overall, this is just slaughter. <laughs> yeah, I decided to actually just land the my flyers into the enemy missiles, which is much better. It will just ensure that they are not firing. While there's a lot of artillery fire and missile fire, yeah, it's, it's, it's a slaughter. There's no way. They cannot get through these infantry units, so, and especially not on a steep hill like this. So let's just watch it out. This is painful. But their resolve is not destroyed immediately, which is good. That's dwarves for you. They're stubborn. Yeah, overall, I'm just trying to ensure that the, cav the catapults cannot fire. So with my flyers, any casting abilities that I have, and I'm just sending in the Kadai units to finish off uh, enemy units here. Just really swarming in with everything. They have some iron... <laughs> it doesn't matter what they have. <laughs> Not with, this, with, this, uh, with the amount of units that I can send in here and damage that I can send here. Yeah, it's good that they don't have leadership problems because this battle is over. And then I'll just regroup and go to fight the other army. Now that we uh, have completed destruction of that army, now we can go against this army. I'm just going to use the summon ability, which I haven't used, to keep a couple of the enemy missiles pinned down while my army is approaching. Some of the breath attacks I'll use against maybe the slayers, those are the dangerous ones here. And I know I could try to position my my men, my uh, balls into the side to maximize those breath attacks, but I don't really want to lose that micro time, because I would lose the timing. What I want is actually to just ensure that I use some of these breath attacks, and then I focus the uh, fire on other units, no. and focus using other units, so I just don't want to have to handle too much micro at the same time. And in this moment my infantry is now in place. I'm using some of my final abilities here, or spells. There we go. Just hitting Thorgrim there. Just a nice life leech. Overall, even if I'm fighting against anti-large units, they are kind of depleted already. I've managed to hurt them enough so that my large units and most of these units are not really hindered. And some dwarf on dwarf action here. I'm just hitting Thorgrim. He's a large target, so I can manage to hit him. I think this is the last blow, we're very close to it. And most of the army is now in full retreat. Yep, I'm just finishing off the Slayers, and that's it. So of course you hit everything at the same time and they'll just retreat because, well, Lord is dead, too much damage on the, on the first few volleys, and only the Slayers are now still surviving because they, they always want to die. Let's help them out. Yeah. 
You did your job with your ex <laughs> without even uncheating your ex. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. You die with it in your hand. Let's go. And that's the end of that second battle. So let me just replenish my army and see what happens with these guys. I'll likely attack them and destroy them, that's for sure. So that at least, you know, this army, all that it needs to do is defend and keep uh, harassing these dwarves uh, while I don't reinforce this position. And this will happen very soon because, of course, I'm dealing with Kislev to the north. And as soon as that is done, it's fine. Either that or I'll just send an army here, because of course there's a lot of complications and I'm divided into many theaters of war. Instead of going against the Empire, I would advise actually going to Cathay, because it's much easier, that area, you know, just to dominate. But oh well, that's not the, the place that I took, and it's kind of interesting to have this playthrough with many different places to defend. Uh, Dresworth, within three turns he's going to have the army, that's good. But I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.